Your soil test is not just a bunch of writing on a page. It's not just numbers. It's the report card of how your soil is doing. Let's break that down for a second. What are we looking at? Yeah, N, P, and K, that's what everyone looks at. But what are the big things? How about CEC, the cation exchange capacity that tells us how much nutrients our soil can hold? How about organic matter to see if we're moving in the right direction and holding more moisture and more nutrients or less? How about we take a look at all of the nutrients, micros and secondaries, and then let's look at those balances and say, is there something here for instance, the potassium to magnesium ratio, that can be out of whack either direction. And when we have way too much potassium at the expense of not getting enough mag into that plant, it's going to cost us big yield. Those are some of the things we're gonna look at. pH, I am astounded at the number of people who are not addressing pH. Guys, if that pH is below 6.2, it's really time to get busy. We'd like to see it between 6.5 and 6.8. If it's over seven, now what? Well, we're not gonna lime, we're gonna learn how to farm around the high pH. But by breaking those numbers down, we can figure out how to get the most out of every acre for the least amount of, of expense. Give us a thumbs up if you already pulled your soil test, or if you have a friend who hasn't pulled his test and needs to, share this video with him.